Well, hey folks, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. And in today's video, you have to know how to load Windows Server 2022. You got to know how to install it. And today we're going to install it on a virtual machine using VirtualBox. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are at VirtualBox on the desktop. I am using a Windows 10 host computer. And in the last video, I showed you how to install VirtualBox. So if you don't know how to do that, go back and do that now. All right, so from the menu here, we see though that we have Windows Server 2022. Now, if you don't have Windows Server 2022 ISO, all you have to do is go to Google and type in download Windows Server 2022 and download the evaluation version. So click on this. Let's go into settings. And you want to look at storage. So in storage here, you can see that on the CD controller, I actually pulled the ISO image. So I have the ISO image set up and ready to go. This is from the last video. So if you didn't see that, go back and see how to set up VirtualBox and a virtual machine first. Once you have that done, make sure it's checked live CD or DVD. Click OK. All we have to do now is click the start button and we're going to install this. It's going to be the same install on a bare metal machine. Now, if you're not sure what a bare metal machine is, I think we talked about that. A bare metal machine is just that. It is a, um, you know, the actual hardware itself. But we are virtualizing this server today using VirtualBox. So let's go ahead and click on start. And at that point, you'll see VirtualBox come alive here. I'll try to expand that out. Well, I guess it just did it on its own here. Uh, try to shrink this down a little bit to keep us within the video here. And we'll close that. So right now we're getting things ready here to install Windows Server 2022. The first, sc first screen we receive is just a basic screen, whatever language you're going to use the time format, English, uh, and your keyboard input. Very simplistic. Click on install now. Once we do this, a lot of my students have a lot of problems, and I'll show you the screen where they get hung up on, uh, in selecting the proper version. So, we have some different versions here. Windows Server 2022 Standard Evaluation. If you install that version, that version is actually the core it's called core install. So there's no GUI or graphical user interface. So we're going to click on the desktop experience and we're going to click on next. Check the little I accept the terms. You can read the terms if you want, but this is an evaluation and this is for training purposes. Click on next. Do a custom install, and I teach everybody to do this when they're installing Windows 10 or Windows 11. You have unallocated space. Okay, sometimes on a bare metal machine, you may be using an old hard drive. Make sure to go in here and delete all the partitions. Since we already have unallocated space, we're going to simply click on Next. And at that point, Windows is going to start installing the operating system from that compressed ISO install image. I am going to go ahead and pause this now and then by the secret motion of editing we can speed this video up a little bit. Okay at this point everything is installed and it's asking us for a password. Now here's a little tip for you and a lot of my students get stuck with this is Windows Server by default uses strong passwords. So you can't just put a password in there's one, two, three, four, so you can remember it. It has to have a punctuation mark, an uppercase, uh, lowercase letters, and a number. So we're going to go ahead and give it my super secret password here. Oops. Obviously, we got something uh, typed wrong there. Let's click back in the box here and get back focused. There we go. We'll see if this one will work. Hopefully that's strong enough for it. And I'll just scroll down here and click on finish. And it was. So again, remember, it has to have a um, 
you know, a special character, uh, an uppercase letter, uh, you know, punctuation mark, uppercase letter, and a number. All right. Now, this is another place when you're using a virtual machine, my students always get stuck on is, hey, they said, we can't use control alt delete because it brings up the task manager of the host computer. You have to go up and click on input keyboard and then click or you can do host delete. Okay, the host key is the control key. So let me see if we can do that. So we'll click in here and click on control delete. And you can see now where it's going to allow me to go ahead and log in. Or if that doesn't work, click on input keyboard send or insert control alt delete. Let's go ahead and type in my super secret password. And I can hit the enter button at that point. It's going to go ahead and update my user profile and build that user profile. And we will talk about profile somewhere down the road because a lot of people don't know how Windows works and creating separate profiles for each individual user. People don't usually understand how that actually works on a computer. And they'll just call me up and say, why is my computer full? And we found out that there is, um, you know, 10 people using it, uh, maybe a shared computer at that point. And there's 10 profiles and they're all logged into there. So, and here is the beautiful Windows Server 2022. You can see why we want the GUI to be loaded because we do have stuff in here uh, like the start button and we have all of our tools in there. It should open up here. It sees my network already. So, yep, we'll say yes, we want it on the network. And at that point, it is on the network. And I was just seeing if the, uh, there it goes. So server manager should launch. And I've done a lot of videos on DHCP, DNS, and uh, how to configure those. But I'm going to do that again for you on Windows Server 2022. I think it's very, very important for you to know how to do that. So I'll go back through those steps for sure and teach you that stuff. Okay. So here is Windows Server 2022. It's saying the admin console. Yeah, don't show that. Don't show that again. We know what it is. Okay. We will add roles and features. I will also walk you through on how to promoting this, promote this to a domain controller. Okay, so that way we can authenticate users through it. We can use it as an authentication server. So there's a lot to do with Windows Server 22. I hope you would subscribe to these videos and follow along as we build this series on Windows Server 2022. I have a lot of other good stuff coming up, folks, and I am back here on Jack's Tech Corner. Uh, I love this channel. I've had this channel for many, many years, and I'm just trying to find time right now to bring to you some really good content that you're going to enjoy using and that you're going to learn from. So I hope you stick around and uh, watch as the content grows. Folks, thank you so much for watching this edition of Jack's Tech Corner and installing Windows Server 2022 as a virtual machine. I hope it helped you and you know, play with all kinds of virtual machines. Virtual machines are great because it doesn't really hurt your computer. When you're done with them, just go in. You can delete the machine, delete all the files, and not worry about it ever again. So let me go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Please click that subscribe button. I would appreciate it. I am Jack, your host here at Jack's Tech Corner. Take care, everybody, and have a good day.